what is my role as a criminal defense lawyer in Canada? What do I do for a living? How do I approach that? Well, first of all, as a criminal lawyer, I'm here to protect the rights of an accused who's charged with a criminal offense. Someone comes to me, they're charged with a criminal offense. From the start of the criminal process to the end, I'm here to ensure that their rights are protected. Now, the role of a defense counsel is very much misunderstood by a lot of people or sometimes vilified, but I guess people only like criminal counsel, defense counsel when they actually need one. But the important thing is that we're here, there's, there's ethical rules, we're bound by them. We're here to protect people. A large part of, our, of what we do, let's face it, like 90, I don't know what percent, but I, I bet you 90, maybe even 95% of criminal cases are resolved. So our role is to review the disclosure, see if there's a defense, are there defendable issues, review with the client their version of events, determine what the odds of winning are. In, in many, if not most criminal matters, there's no chance of winning or little chance of winning. And our role is all about negotiating, resolving the case, trying to find the appropriate sentence, if you will, because there is an appropriate sentence for every case. And that's a very part, big part of our, our role. In the States, I guess they call this plea bargaining, which I, I don't like that term. It's kind of a pejorative type term. My role is to find what the appropriate, when my client decides to plead uh, you know, guilty, because he's admitted his guilt, is what counts is he pleading to or he or she pleading to? What's the appropriate range of sentence? Can I get the Crown to agree to that range? Which a can I, at a judicial pretrial, can I get the judge to agree to it? And then try and make sure that that penalty is minimized as much as possible. In other words, what's the fair penalty? I mean, sometimes the Crown asks for, asks for outrageous type um, you know, sentences, sometimes they agree with us, but it's ultimately up to the judge and it's up to me to try and convince the judge to give a fair range. I mean, if a person's charged with a serious crime, sure, they deserve to go to jail for a long period of time. If they're, if they're charged with a sexual assault, for example, um, they deserve a date rape with no physical injuries, but psychological injuries. The range of sentences is two to three years in Canada. What if the Crown's asking for five? Well, that's not appropriate, so we, we negotiate and, and, and appear in front of the judge. Now at trial, I'm also in, in charge or, or responsible for protecting the rights of the accused, testing the Crown's case, asking questions to show, uh, to try and create a reasonable doubt. Uh, were, the right, were my client's charter rights protected, his, his or her constitutional rights? This is our role. It's all done within the bounds of ethics, rules of court, and it's a very responsible position. You know, we live in a democratic society. People have rights. And don't think for a second that there's not the odd innocent person who's charged with the offense. Like, the bottom line, I, I mean, people have a hard time believing this now. I could be here with a person as a male, another male, and I could lie and show up at the police station and say that person assaulted me and easily get charges laid. It's that simple. I know that most, well, let's face it, most people charged with a criminal offense are probably guilty. Uh, I don't know what the statistics are, I won't get into them, but there are innocent people. I don't know what the percentage is, but everyone deserves the same defense, and that's our role, to protect the rights. There's an old case called, um, you know, Boucher be the king, which talks about the Crown's role and defense's role. It's all ethically set out, and I have to follow those bounds. And that's our role here, ultimately, to protect our clients as best we can. Sometimes that means going to trial. In the vast, vast majority of cases, it means negotiating the best possible sentence and pleading to the appropriate counts that they, that they committed. So that's it in a nutshell, what we do, what our role is, what I've done for the last, well, four years as a Crown attorney. I did their job, and now the last oh, 29 years as a defense lawyer in, in Ontario. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for watching our video. We are absolutely committed to bringing you the best possible criminal and DUI educational videos. If you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you've been charged with a criminal offense in Ontario and require our services, please click on the link in the description below.